everyone, this is Karen. I want to show you how easily Photo Scissors works. You just open up your image and then you choose either plus or minus. Plus is what you want in your photo, minus the red is what you don't want in your photo. So obviously I want the cat in this photo, so I'm going to just draw a green line like this across the cat. Then I'm going to click the red and I'm going to draw a red line across the grass. And look, it's already pretty good. But you're going to see that there are yellow areas to show you what's happening. In this case, it's showing you what's included. And in this case, I don't have anything yet that's included on the grass that I don't want. But as I adjust here, that, that will change here a little bit, but it's still going to be very easy to deal with. So I want to include these areas that are not included right now over here. So I'm going to change this to green. And I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to drag across the picture. It also included everything else I wanted now, so that's fine. Except that you'll see over here there's a little bit of what I don't want. So I'm going to go back to my red and I'm going to click over here because you see what's marked out in yellow for you that you don't want. So I've deleted those. Now go back to my image and you'll see that it's highlighted an area here that's not selected. So go back to the green. I'll choose that. That fixes that creates a couple of problems over here, clean those up, and I'm just about done. I've got this tiny little area here on the face that I don't want, so I'm just going to grab the red and I'm just going to go a little bit closer here, a little bit more, and it's taken it away, but it's taken away a little bit of his ear. What is this? Okay, that's not. Oh, it is something. See over here, the yellow. So I will remove that. And that's it. It's removed the parts of the background that I don't want. So with a checkerboard pattern here on the background, that means it's transparent. You could add a color if you wanted. Instead of having checkerboard, you could add a color. Let's say if you wanted it to be white, you could make it white. If you want a checkerboard or transparent, you just choose it over here. That's all there is to it. If you're a Windows user, this is going to look a little bit different. This is specific to Mac. You're going to have different color choices, but you just choose the color that you want for your background and click OK and it will change the background for you. Again, if you want transparent, just click the transparent option over here. There's also an eraser here. I haven't played with that at all yet. I haven't needed to. But as I learn more about the program, I will post videos and help you as well. If you're interested in getting photo scissors for yourself, look below the video. I have included a link to it there. Thanks so much for watching.